Good morning, everyone. Welcome to video three of your induction. Uh, first one was a nice little introduction. The last one was about um, registration and what is a form tutor. And today we've got our mascot, Brookie, here. Uh, it's going to talk you, I'm going to talk you through timetables. Now, this is something that, again, is going to be a little bit different to what you're used to at uh, the school that you're at at the moment. Now, I know that every school does it a bit differently, um, but you've probably used to having something like this, where there's, you've got a Monday, Tuesday to Friday, and then you do something each day. Maybe every week on a Friday you have free time, I don't know. Um, but, you know, each day you know, over a week. Now, we're a little bit different. In order to get the, all the lessons, the amount of lessons needed, we actually run a two-week timetable. So it means that it doesn't go from Monday to Friday. It goes from Monday to Friday, then Monday to Friday, and then we start over again. So it sounds a bit complicated. It really isn't. And I've asked one of our year 10s if he wouldn't mind if I shared his timetable. And this is going to look really complicated, but I've color-coded it, and so hopefully it will be all right. So... These are the two weeks. So we can see up here that we've got our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then all the lessons that this student has in that day. There are uh, five lessons plus registration. Now, if you watch the um, other video I did, I'll explain kind of what registration is. So this runs for all through this week. And then there is a week two, and it runs through this for here. Now, I've color coded this a little bit because the colors are the important bits. There's one thing I didn't um, highlight because it's not particularly important to you. So the yellow bits here will tell you what subjects that you're doing. So uh, this student on Monday will go to registration in the morning. So that starts at 8.20. Once they've had registration, a bell will go and they'll have five minutes to get to his music lesson. And then after that, he's got philosophy and ethics and then mathematics and then PE and then science and then can go home. So a nice mixed day, but this is gonna be really different to your day where you have one teacher throughout the day. You are each little break here, there's five minutes where everyone stands up, moves around the school and swaps seats. And you sit in a different classroom with a different teacher. Now we know the teachers because they're in green. So uh, this student is really lucky. So he's got uh, Mr. Humber's his form tutor. So Mr. Humber's one of the PE teachers. So every morning he'll check in with Mr. Humber and find out about all the important messages. He then has Mrs. Wellman for music. That's our head of music. Mr. Sweeney for philosophy and ethics, where they learn about what's right and wrong. And then in maths, he's got Mrs. Joseph, who is super lovely. Then he's got PE with Mr. Maskell. Uh, Mr. Ma Maskell is an amazing teacher, very good at tennis. And then science with Mr. Tracy, who is an excellent science teacher. So these green ones will tell you what teachers you have. In orange here is telling you which classroom. Now these codes look really complicated right now. And when we come to do your induction day, you'll get a chance to wander around and find out where all these different blocks are, where these rooms are. And it's, there is a system uh, and it should become clear. So we've got S2.4 for registration. So the S means it's in the science block. And 2.4 means it's, two means it's on the uh, it's upper floor. We've got the one means it's on the lower floor, two means it's up the stairs, and classroom four, upstairs of science. Kind of makes sense. Music is in C13, C is for creative. So that's where the drama, well, the drama studio has a separate name, brilliantly, but the art rooms, the uh, cooking rooms, uh, and the music rooms are all, um, I think they got to, I think maybe C13 is the highest. They have philosophy and ethics in S1.1. Well, if you remember back to up here, S means the science block, and 1.1 means that will be the first classroom on the ground floor. Maths is in M for maths block, well done, in 2.4, so we've got the stairs, and so on. So the orange just tells you which classroom you're in. So I know this looks really scary, but it just means that we've got registration, uh, sorry, we've got the title of the lesson, where it is, and who your teacher is. Now, I haven't kind of highlighted these funny codes, um, but that's just your class code because there's so many classes. Each one has a little bit of a code for the system, and we don't necessarily really need to worry about that. But we can see that this student would go through his week with all these different teachers and then cycle through it again. Now, how this works, if we look at, uh, I'm recording this on the 15th of March, and we are currently in a week one. So it means that from Monday to Friday, we'll have week one. 
So next week we'll have week two. So we'll make sure we see all that lessons in week two. And then the week after that will be week one. And we cycle through like that. Now, if we end, if we finish this week and then we had a holiday, like our Easter holiday or a half term, we would still come back on week two. It always carries on over the holidays. Now, this can be a bit confusing to begin with. And a lot of people come back from uh, holidays uh, and they're always texting their friends going, what week are we? What week are we? You can always email us. We've got a little bit of system on the website that you can check uh, from the calendar what week we are as well. Um, you don't need to worry too much about that uh, because we'll make sure we let you know. But that is essentially our two-week timetable. I have a feeling that I made that really complicated and I really didn't mean to. So if you do have any questions, please remember to email me uh, and we, I can clarify or make another video uh, to clear things up. Right. Well, I hope you're all doing okay and I'll see you next week.